Um, remember, sometimes they want to give you specific signs and it's not just the ones you're expecting. Oh, you were messing with Katrina. Okay. Yeah, I, I've read Katrina. Remember guys, do not type information about your departed loved ones into the chat because scammers could be watching and they'll reach out to you under a fake profile pretending to be me or another professional um, and offer you a reading that just conveniently only mentions the information that you typed into the chat. So do not share personal information about yourself or departed people. Departed people are always okay. They are always fine. They're not confused, they're not lost, they're not trapped anywhere, um, they are fine. Do you think being sad can block you? As far as your own intuitive um, awareness, yeah. Um, sadness can kind of manifest as another form of like fixation on a topic. Um, any strong emotion can reduce your objectivity and make it really hard to notice like intuitive nudges through your sadness or grief. Do I ever feel blocked in my mediumship? This is my full-time job. I can't afford to have blockages. Anybody or anything that could potentially become a blockage gets cut off immediately. Hey, Holly. Do we choose our path in life? If so, why would we choose bad things like enduring abuse? Um, unfortunately for soul's growth. Um, and we don't have to like it. We just have to acknowledge that there are things we agree to that are beyond our comprehension. And other things are just bad free will, free will decisions on the part of other people. So sometimes a conflict between, I don't know, uh, partners or a conflict between parent and child, that's the predestined part. And then the extent to which the conflict escalates is bad free will decision making on the part of the living. Makes sense? I think sometimes people go off-roading on the conflict that was predestined. <laughs> Makes sense, Holly? Like conflict or disagreement can be predestined, but the extent to which it goes and how long it lasts, well, I think sometimes that's free will choice. Yeah, I call it off-roading, Caitlin. It's like they were like they were on track with the conflict and then they just went above and beyond for no goddamn reason. Oh, thank you, Allison. I appreciate that. Are romantic partners always karmic? God, I hope not. <laughs> no. Um, and try not to classify relationship as, as karmic or soulmate or twin flame. It's more important to gauge an, a connection based upon its actual merits. Okay, so any medium who wants to tell you your spirit guide's name is full of shit. I hate to say that, but um, remember that your spirit guides have been a hundred different people with a hundred different names, with a hundred different appearances and a hundred different backstories. Uh, and trying to nail it down to just one, especially when you did not know this person in this life, mm -mm. not evidentially confirmable in any way. Ha, you knew it. Okay. Hey, and uh, happy to validate your intuition. You knew you just needed to hear it from someone else and that's okay. If your spirit guide is like your grandma or whatever, that's cool. Grandma will come through evidentially and say, hey, by the way, I'm your spirit guide. That's just fine. But if they're like, ah, it's an Egyptian priestess. It's like, okay. Can you give me anything to prove that? And if they can't give you evidence about that or anything else, I wouldn't take that overly seriously. Is it possible for someone to know the name of their own spirit guide? 
you can't validate it unless you knew that person in this life. It can be as specific of a name as you'd like. If it is not evidentially provable, you can't take it seriously. Again, spirit guides have been a hundred different people with a hundred different names, a hundred different backstories. It's pointless to pin, pin only one on them. Are spirit guides ever people we knew in past lives? Why, yes. Again, we can't prove it, but this is what we believe in a conceptual and theoretical sense. You bet. Can spirits try more than once to be born if they failed once though? Yeah, yeah. And from uh, my client base and the math that I have done on the readings that I done where that's come up about 20 to 30% of the time, they're going to take another run at it if it's appropriate to do so. Interesting questions. Yep, you bet, Allie. Don't know what that was, but cool. Um, 